Whenever I get anything with a screen, I have this real, you know, it's this urge to keep it clean and tidy and no scratches and fingerprints and things. It doesn't always last long, you know, but with this Black Magic Video Assist, I think, you know, it might turn out the right way with help. Um, I've decided to get a screensaver for it. I had to order it from Germany. I ordered it online and it ends up turning out from Germany. In an earlier video, I said I'd uh, put one on, so I'm going to put one on, but as I said in the earlier, earlier video, that they invariably get dust and dirt. It's like putting a screen on a, on a mobile phone of any description. You, you know, you kind of always get dust and dirt underneath it. So I brought a few things to, to help that. Well, I hope it would help. Normally I'd do it in a bathroom, but it would really not help with the filming, would it? So I've got my trusty old blower here. This is a, yeah, it's a GOT. You know, I've had this for a while, it works for, it just, it just works. I mean, it's, it's functional and it works. And it's, so I'm gonna blow the dust off of this. I've got some, can't beat this bag, huh? What else have I got in my little bag? I have some trusty Roscoe lens tissue. So I'm gonna just wipe off the um, screen first. And I have some Roscoe lens cleaner. I clean the screen off, try, try and fit it. I, I, I don't even know how well this is going to fit. Um, I ordered it, you know, it looks like it'll fit, but I don't think it'll fit perfectly, but I think it'll just cover most of it. But like any, any screen saving, you know, there's always a trade-off. And the trade-off is that you're gonna lose a little bit of, is it clarity or, you know, it's gonna make it slightly more opaque. Um, but I, you know, I kind of, I'm gonna go with that because I have a Canon 60D that I use, use for still stuff and I, get, I just keep them around in the back of one of the cars and um, I've had a screen save on the back of that for, for, for God, since what, about 2012, 2011, 2012? Maybe 2010, I think it came out about 2010, 2011. It takes away the sharpness, but you know, I use Magic Lantern and you know, I, I don't generally use it for, for filming nowadays because you know, phones are so great and I'm, I use it for stills mainly and you know, it, it's handy if I'm, working on some other jobs and it's a little bit dusty and I don't really want to get out an EOS or something. So I'll use that and I may, but the screen, but the, back to the, the screen saver is, is, is fantastic. It, it's kept it really clean and it is a touch screen because it kind of, it, it's a different generation, but um, the Blackmagic one is, is, is touch screen. So I don't know how that's going to get on with this screen saver or sc screen protector. It's a Mikvon screen protector. So let, let's give it a, let's give it a clean and, and, and see how it works out. So let's have a go and see if we can get this off. And comes off nicely. One side. Just see me moving the dust off, son. What I'll do is I'll put a little bit of um, lens cleaner on a lens tissue and see how that works. Couple of drops. Just more than a couple of drops, I think. Just let that dry. I think I put a little bit too much on there, but let's get that off. Do a smearing job on it. Yeah, okay. As I said earlier, I mean, it's, it's always better to put a screen saver or a screen protector on in a bathroom because it's slightly damper. It's like changing the lens, I suppose. It doesn't attract the dust so much, does it? So that's the Mick Vaughan screen protector. You seem to get loads in a packet. Um, yeah, there's instructions on the back in English and German. Thoroughly clean the display of dust and dirt. You know, bathroom or kitchen. You know, peel off the backing sheet to halfway along the layer, display, and slide the foil onto the display. Uh, okay. So, thoroughly cleaned the, I've done that. Continue to pull off the backing sheet and slide the foil onto the display. Let's have a go. 
Put it halfway. You know, it's kind of always trickier. Yeah? I don't know, you know, it says halfway, but... I don't know. I do this with, a, with mobile phones, and I don't like doing it like that anyhow. I'm gonna do it full. See how that works. Not perfect, but not bad. I'm gonna get a credit card now. Slightly smooth it out. I mean, these bumps invariably come off anyhow. I mean, if, if it doesn't work, I'll just put them, take it off anyhow. But I'll give it a go. Try. Yeah. I mean, these should come out. They do on my mobile phones generally, but we'll see. Maybe it doesn't like American Express. I don't know what these air bubbles are doing. Yeah, you guys gotta force them across, right? It's like some 1980s uh, arcade game. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I'm gonna try and smooth it out a bit more if I need to, but you know, it's fine for the money. Normally drop out, but we'll, we'll see. So that's it really, that, that's, that's all done now. It's okay.